first step is to cut your double fold binding enough to go all the way around the quilt with at least six inches of extra. Now we're at the machine and about 12 inches from that first corner, you're gonna place your binding raw edges of the binding right next to the raw edges of the quill and leave six inches of that binding free before you start to pin and sew. So right where that first pin is, now start your sewing and you'll go down to your first corner and miter your favorite technique and then go all the way around the quilt. Keep stitching until you are about six inches from the beginning tail and then stop. And you'll see a gap between where you stop and the beginning of the binding. Your beginning binding is flat against the edge and the end tail of the binding goes up to the beginning, folds on itself, press with your finger, then grab your ruler and you're going to measure the same distance as the cut width of your binding. In this case, we used a two and an eighth, so we're going to measure two and an eighth. And trim off the excess where you've marked it. Then you're going to open each tail up flat. So on the beginning, it's right side up, and on the ending tail, it's right side down. You're at right angles, and you have right sides together, and the corners all match up. I know it looks awkward, but it's like a magic trick. And then grab your ruler again and mark a diagonal from the lower left corner to the upper right. And that pencil line is where you're going to stitch and pin to get ready for your stitching. There you are, ready to stitch. So now we're ready to sew on the diagonal line. Stitch away and remove your pin. Trim your seam allowances to quarter inch and press the seam open, fold over your binding and voila, it's a perfect match even along the edge and stitch that gap closed. Flip your binding to the back and stitch in place and here's your finished binding. And here it is, the finished seam. You can barely see it.